Hey gang, it's Carol with Refunction Crafts and today I'm going to bring you um, a video on how to alter these little earbud um, containers that you can get at the Dollar Tree. They've got, they're just round and they've got a little zipper that goes around the whole thing and they're meant to be for um, storing your earbuds and putting them in your purse or what have you. They had a little swirly design, kind of a 60s vibe design um, on the outside of them. Unfortunately, I painted them all before I did the video, so you don't get to see what they looked like originally, except I will post pictures at the end of this video because I did take some pictures of them before I um, painted them, I think. I think I have some on my phone. So I'll post those pictures so you can see what they looked like. And they came in round and square, and I only picked up the round ones, and I'm kind of wishing now that I had picked up some square ones too, because I think they, you could really do some cool stuff with these. They could be used for, um, for your earbuds, obviously, or they could be used for just putting, um, you know, a little bit of money and coins in, or um, makeup. If you're going somewhere for the evening and you want a small pouch to put your makeup and things in, you could put a chapstick and you know, a couple of other little things in here that you might need, um, or jewelry uh, when you're taking a trip. It's a great, great little pouch for jewelry because you could put, you know, bracelets and, and necklaces and things, and you could tuck earrings into the little pouch, um, and the pouch is just a little mesh thing. And I love the color of the zipper section in the other ones. This is the one I already did. And I did this in all pink and it had the pink zipper and I actually lightened it by taking a little bit of white paint and, and dry brushing around the zipper area to make it a paler pink. And this one came out really, really pretty. I love it and you can just toss it in your purse. It's done with a pretty little applique I got from Kiki Sale and some other little lace bits and uh, this faux pearl trim. And it came out super duper pretty. And uh, so we're gonna make this one equally as pretty. I'm gonna use some of the same bits and pieces. Uh, this applique that I got from Kiki's. And I'm gonna use, I get these little uh, flowers from Kiki's and I also got some from in Happy Mail from my friend Carol. Um, these are great to use as, as little embellishments and um, super pretty and I love the sparkle you guys know me and my sparkle and I will never change sparkle is my thing and um, I try to do some things you know when I'm selling things in my Etsy store that are maybe not so sparkly or what have you but I find myself always going back to the sparkle it's just my thing and um, so that's just what I do so um, what we're going to do is we're going to take this applique and put it across the front. Now this one, you could tell where it's got like a line going through it right here. And that's because when they put the, the vinyl on the top of this with that swirly print on it, it was in pieces. It was in two pieces. So there was a line going across here. So when I painted it, this one and another one, I, no matter what I did, that line appeared in it, which is okay because you're not going to see that anyway. I'm going to embellish over that line, so it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to put this on the top. Um, but first, what I want to do is I want to take and put a trim around the edge. And initially I was thinking I would use um, that same pearl, but I think I'm going to go with maybe something a little different this time. And we'll see if I want to do, I think I'm going to go with my pink rhinestone chain on this one. Um, the other thing I was thinking of was possibly using this gorgeous embroidered trim that I got from Kiki's around the edge and then putting this on top and kind of using those two bits as my accents. But I think for around the edge, I want to go a little less obvious and use the rhinestone chain and then maybe I'll put a couple of bits of this in. Um, I don't want that E6000. 
put a couple of bits of this in kind of and tuck it into a couple of spots but um, so I'm just going to take my E6000 and I'm going to go around the whole top and I will probably put these rhinestones on the bottom side as well although I'm not going to do a whole lot of embellishing on the bottom side of this mostly just the top but I do think that it should have the same rhinestones on the bottom that it's got on the top that's just so that it'll look uniform and like I didn't try to cut corners I don't want to make it look like I'm cutting corners to um, to save money or anything because that's not what I'm doing I want it to be pretty on both sides Okay, so we've got that on there, and I think I'm just going to go right ahead and put the rhinestone on the back side as well. I think I thought I had another piece of it here. What did I do? Oh, this one would have been so pretty. Oh, I have this rhinestone chain that changes colors. Oh, I might actually... I'll save that and just do that on another thing. I don't want to waste it, waste what I already put down here. I swear I thought I had two chains of this. Oh, I did. Here's the other piece. All right, so I'm going to put this piece on the bottom side. Since this goes on fairly quickly, I just want to get this part done so that it can all dry at the same time. And the C6000 will dry fairly quickly, enough that I can continue to work on my project. Um, I need to cut this end one off. Obviously, the last time I cut them off of here, I must have cut into this end one here don't want to leave that there without a rhinestone let's see that's a little bit long so let me cut that off right there All right, so that's that, and then we're going to just start embellishing with some of these pretty bits and pieces. The first thing I want to put on is this, I think, because I don't think this will work real well underneath it. No, we're going to put this on first, just using some hot glue. Okay. 
Okay. And right there. And this, is, this makes a really nice gift for, um, for really anybody. You know, your mom, your sister, your daughter. Um, it's very feminine and pretty. And anybody could use it. So I think it makes a really nice gift. And you all know you can make these and hopefully you can find them at your Dollar Tree. And if I grab some more, I might make some kits. I'm going to spend some time here over this next week putting together um, kits that you guys can make yourselves. But all of the materials will be there so that you have you already have your supplies all together. I think that would be nice for you guys to you know for those of you who don't have maybe access to a Dollar Tree store where you can buy um, these items that I use um, because I know it's kind of a bummer when you don't because I know sometimes my Dollar Tree doesn't sell the things that other people can get at their Dollar Trees and it's frustrating sometimes because I want to make certain things but I can't because I can't get the supplies so that's always a bummer and right now I'm just trying to see where I can plug in some of these pieces of this smaller lace I think I'm going to take some of the smaller pieces and just kind of plug them in in a couple of spots making sure I put my glue on the right side because there's a right and a wrong side you guys on your lace so make sure you check that because usually the the side that you want to stick up is the shinier side so just make sure you're checking that before you glue down your your lace that there and this one I'm gonna need to kind of push together a little bit piece of this pretty pretty flower it's going to go right there and you guys can see just how quickly you can put these together and make someone a quick gift if you forgot something if you forgot a birthday present or a Christmas present you know when the holidays get here and you go oh shoot I didn't buy anything for so and so I forgot you can quickly put something together and they will never ever have to know that you forgot never ever <laughs> so I mean this is just one of those things that you know nobody has to know where it came from or what you spent I am a firm believer in I truly and I mean this from the bottom of my heart I would much rather get a gift from someone that they kind of hand made or altered or whatever they did themselves that they put their kind of their heart and soul into than something brand new bought you know from a, a store any day of the week I would take it any day of the week over a, a store-bought item um, that's just the way I am. I adore handmade things. So I know that not everybody is that way, but um, I think for the most part, oh, there's uh, so many women out there that really do appreciate the handmade items. Let's see, maybe. Just 
trying to see if there is a couple of other items that I can pop in here that will dress it up yet not take it too far over the top. I like these little flowers. I got these from my friend Sherry and they came in a whole bunch of colors but I did take some and painted them in this cream color so that I could use them as embellishments on certain pieces and they would be neutral. That's why I painted them. I just took a few of them out of there to paint. And, you know, by the time it's all said and done, they may all end up getting painted. Who knows? That's just what I do. You guys all know that. And Sherry knows that, too, um, that I, I take things and change them in order to use them in my projects. So I'm sure she's fine with me painting them. <laughs> um, she's a very, very talented crafter herself. And she's kind of trying to get started doing um, uh, an Etsy store and doing kind of her own thing. So I'm hoping that, you know, I can give her some ideas and things so that she can get started too. I just love to see somebody um, become successful at selling, especially a maker selling their art to me that's just uh, that's a big deal and i love to see somebody be able to do what they love and earn a living at it i'm working at doing that my own self um, i'm hoping that i can start to actually make a living at what i do it's not easy um, and i'm certainly not there yet and I'm really wishing I hadn't put this gold piece in here. So I'm popping that out. I'm going to put this flower in. This flower just came off of some trim that I bought. It's got little rolled roses all down the trim, but I really, really like it to use in things like this. So, and that gold piece just didn't feel like it fit. It, it, it didn't fit in. <laughs> so, but I do love these little flowers and they're made, I don't know if they're made from polymer clay or resin or what, but they're, they're nice to use because they're, they have, they're hard, they're not squishy. And um, you don't have to worry about them on something like this that somebody may put in their purse and toss around. It's not going to fall apart. So I really, really like it. And we're just going to kind of work around this until I think I've got enough embellishments on there to where I'm, I'm happy with the final look, I'm trying very hard to learn how to not over embellish, um, which is not easy for me because I love, love, love um, embellishing things. And for the most part, I think most of my stuff comes out pretty nicely even though sometimes I do over embellish, I know this, but that's okay, a-okay. I have this pretty lace too, and I've been wanting to use this particular piece in something, but this piece is a little big. A little too big, I think. But maybe I can take this one and sort of cut it a little bit. I need to get, once I get some more of this lace, I won't be so scared to use it in things. But I, it's one of those laces that's so pretty and I don't want to use it all up. So I try to be very choosy in the projects that I use it on 
a little too choosy, I think. All right. I feel like I have one more spot over here that needs a little help. Right over here to the side. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that... What did I do with the other single one? not doing it for me either. What do I want to do here? Um, oh, you know what? I do have a couple of these little, these little embroidered flowers that maybe I could just pop a couple of those in there. And here's a leaf. And that will cover that spot and not be overdone. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to pop the leaf right there and the flower right next to it. And this is sliding over because I don't have it zipped, you guys. I should have zipped it up while I was doing this, but that's okay. Um, okay, and then do I need one piece of bling? to go in the center portion of it somewhere. Like that. That looks really pretty. Okay, so I think I've got this under control, everybody. We have a beautiful pouch that y'all can use in your purse to carry coins or makeup or jewelry, what have you. I'm sorry about this, you guys. I burned myself the other day. Um, what did I do that on? I think it was, I think it was cooking. Anyway, I burned myself. Look at that. It looks so awful. I hate when I get stuff like that on my hands and arms, and then I have to do videos, and it just looks really bad. It looks worse than it is, honestly. Um, just making sure I don't need anything else in there. I kind of, you know how I get. I like that middle section to kind of all come together as one. Don't like that. Maybe just that one little gold flower will be pretty sitting there. Right coming off of those. There. Okay, you guys. And I'm going to zip this up. And that's what it looks like. That's the finished product. And actually it's not finished because I do want to put something on the bottom of this. Oh, I didn't even use my other trim here. I was going to put a couple pieces of this in there. Hold on, hold on. I love the green part of this trim. Look at how pretty that is. The color in that green is just gorgeous and I love it and I think there must be a couple of pieces of this coming out on this because if I don't it's going to be missing something. So I'm going to put a piece there and it looks amazing. I love it. 
And let's find another one. And pop that flower off. And let's see, where could we put this one? Oops. We're going to pop that sort of under this stuff over here. Yep. So let me just get some glue under there and then I'm going to kind of shove it back in there with a toothpick if I can find one. Um, just to kind of get it up under those other bits and pieces. And then we're going to get a piece over here on this side to kind of even it all out. And where will we put this? I'm covering up that other little flower that's under there, but that's okay. I hate doing that, but I just feel like I want to add this trim in there. Here I am. I've been talking about how I want to start not over embellishing things. And what am I doing? Probably over embellishing, but to a degree where it just looks amazing. <laughs> so I'm okay with it. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Look at that. That made a difference in this whole piece, in my opinion. And I think it, it really brought more attention and more pop to it. So now what I need to do is I need to come up with something simple for the bottom side. Um, I mean, I could put, I could put another applique there, but I, I don't want to do that. I want it to be basically flat. Um, so just something very simple and basic. <coughs> okay, so I really messed up on this one, you guys. Um, how I messed up is that I completely did the back side of this thinking that I was filming and I wasn't. My camera was not recording. So um, I'm really sorry. I know you guys got the full front side of this and it's gorgeous and beautiful. And I wish you had gotten the back side too because I added, here's what I did. I added a piece of velvet to the back crushed velvet in a sage color, and oh, how I wish I had some more of this crushed velvet. I have a tiny little piece left. This was some that my friend Debbie had sent to me, not from Kiki's sale, but just from her private stash a long, long, long time ago when I was doing some other projects, and um, I had a very little piece left of it, and I just happened to see that out of the corner of my eye, and I thought, how pretty would that be with that, that, um, mint green to have that sage green on the back side and oh my goodness did it ever turn out simple but beautiful and then i added this other rhinestone chain that i have that i did get from kiki's and this top layer here is um it, it's a rhinestone chain it's got a a gold um it's a gold chain but the rhinestones they're all the same, but they turn pink and green depending on how you're holding it. Look at that. They are so beautiful, and I was so excited to use them in something, and I just remembered that I had those and that I was going to add them to the back. So that's what I did. I cut out a circle in the, the velvet. I added this little piece of this trim, trim which looks amazing on it and then added another one of these rhinestone flowers and it turned out gorgeous, you guys. I'm super duper happy with this one. And um, this will be going into my Etsy store as well as this one. And then I'll be working a little bit on the other two. This one does not have any embellishments on the back side. I am gonna, I'm gonna somehow finish this one off. Not with much, I'm just gonna do a little something, you know, 
on the back of it just to kind of give it a little something, but not, not too much. I may find another piece of velvet or something. I do have some pink velvet that maybe I could use on this one and do maybe a similar thing to that on the back side of this one. So anyway, those are how they turned out. I hope you guys liked this video and um, I've got a whole lot more videos in store for you. Some Christmas stuff that I'm going to be doing. I just picked up some Christmas supplies from my neighbor's yard sale the other day. She had some stuff in there that I, just a few little items that I grabbed from her yard sale. Um, I got this little moose that I thought was really cute and I got this little uh, snowman bulb and I got some other more like vintagey looking Christmas items. I don't have those next to me now so I won't show you those but um, yeah, I've got a lot of stuff uh, in the works, so if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I hope that you will consider subscribing now and um, get ready for some really great videos. And uh, if you have a minute, please leave a comment down below. That does help in the algorithm so that I can get put in front of more YouTubers um, and work on getting my um, subscriber base increased. I'm really, really trying hard to make that happen um, in a big way. And also, if you um, are interested in purchasing these, they will be in my Etsy shop. I'll put my link down below for my Etsy shop. Don't forget to go visit Kiki Sale. And when you do that, if you want to join Kiki Sale, make sure that you have a Facebook profile and that you answer all of the questions that she asks. If you don't do those two things, then she will have to pass you by as far as joining for membership. So um, I'm trying to let everybody know that you need to do those two things in order to get cleared for getting into Kiki Sale. It's a great group, prices are awesome, and you won't be disappointed. I'm telling you, it's a great, amazing group and a great place to get some of your um, embellishment uh, supplies really, really inexpensively. So make sure that you get on over there and you check out Kiki's. Um, and uh, again, I really appreciate each and every one of you. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe now if you, if you enjoyed this video. And um, those who are already subscribed, thank you so much. I appreciate all of you. And thanks to those who've been shopping in my Etsy store and supporting me in that way. It really is helping us um, tremendously. And I can't say enough thank yous to all of you for that. God's blessings to everybody. Take care and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.